everyone. Today we're going to present the Essen chapter. Hello, my name is Noel. Essen, or well known as the Association of Southeast Asia Nation, was established on 8 of August. 1967 in Bangkok, Thailand with the signing of Asian Declaration by the Founding Fathers of Asian Asian Charter The Asian Charter served as the firm foundation in achieving the Asian community by providing legal status and institutional framework for Asian It also codifies Asian norm, rules and value that sets clear target for Asian and presents accountability and compliances. The Asian Charter entered into force on 15 December 2008 at the presence of Asian Foreign Minister at the Asian Secretariat in Jakarta. With the entry into force of the Asian Charter, Asian will hand forth operate under a new legal framework and establish a number of new organs to boost its community building process. In effect, the ASEAN Charter is a legally binding agreement among 10 ASEAN member states. It will also register with the Secretariat of the United Nations present to Article 102 Paragraph 1 of the Charter of the United Nations. Let's move on to the issue in ASEAN, which is Bradley Island and Batu Kute Island. The issue of Batu Kute Island pits Malaysia's original title to the island against Singapore's much later plan. On 14 February 1980, Singapore protests a Malaysian map of its maritime boundaries, published in the previous year, which showed Batu Kute Island belonging to Malaysia. Later in 1993, Singapore also claimed the nearby islands Middle Rocks and South Ledge. Subsequently, it was agreed by the both party that the matter should be resolved by a reference to the International Court of Justice. On May 2008, Malaysia has lost its sovereignty over Batu Kuta Island to Singapore, but gained sovereignty over Middle Rocks Islands as ruled by the International Court of Justice. The Spratly Islands dispute is a regional maritime territorial sovereignty dispute which involves six countries in the South China Sea, which is China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, and Brunei, underscored by the prospect of large natural energy reserves, control of strategic global maritime areas, and shifting global power dynamics. The dispute has significant international geostrategic economy political and legal implication. The fact that China has become the regional hegemon in Southeast Asia has made the dispute more important. If China takes over the archipelago, what politics would be altered as China would in effect turn the South China Sea into a Chinese leg. Island claims must be settled, however, before the law of the Sea Convention can be brought to bear. The unique complexity of this dispute makes resolution of sovereignty unlikely and points to multilateral cooperative resource exploitation. For your information, the disputes over Spratly Island is still ongoing until today. I am Nur Atika Fitri Binti Amirul and I will explain to you about the parties involved in ASEAN Charter. All of the 10 members of ASEAN Regional and External Party involved under ASEAN organizations will be regulated under ASEAN Charter to make sure the harmonies and cooperations between nations in the South Asia. All these 10 members will be added in one country that have been chosen to discuss about the making, amend, change of ASEAN Charter. They will be added in a summit which is called as ASEAN Summit. This summit will be held twice a year for the ASEAN member state to discuss about the method of the ASEAN regional problem issue and so on. First of all, in the establishment of economic where the involvement of Asian region members has significantly improved economic growth of state members in Asia, which are Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Socialist Republic of Vietnam. It is reducing the economic gap between its members, for example, preferential trading agreement PTA with the goal of accelerating economic growth while also advancing social investment and cultural development. 
in 2011, a study shows that PTS flexibility in partnership and coverage selections assist ASEAN member in reducing reliance on American and EU markets and increasing policy autonomy by diversifying economic connections with China, Japan, and other overseas markets. Aside from that, it will strengthen cooperation between ASEAN member states by holding regular meetings to discuss and plan events. This can aid in the development of regional cooperation in the Asian region. Evidence and methods such as ASEAN Sea Games are used to build cooperation, whereby all ASEAN member states will be invited to participate in the sport and by this, cooperation will be established. Next, the cooperation in the context of security and politics. The cooperation between ASEAN state members and external relations from other countries in order to maintain stability, peace and security in, the, in various regions in the world, especially regions that suffer from conflict. For example, involvement in the Treaty of Southern ASEAN Nuclear Weapon Free Zone is one of the purpose of the ASEAN Charter is to perceive Southeast Asia as nuclear weapon free zone and free from others' weapons with mass destruction. Besides that, the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation TSC in Southeast Asia aim to foster peace and renunciations of the trades or use of force and efficient cooperation among ASEAN members with participation from China, Japan, South Korea, India, New Zealand, Australia, and few other countries. Next, I will pass to Ayn. Assalamualaikum, I am Ayn Afzad and I will continue on explaining the advantages and disadvantages of ASEAN Charter. The next advantages of ASEAN Charter is creating greater institutional accountability and compliance system. The various bodies and areas of responsibility in ASEAN are very helpful in planning things in ASEAN affairs. More strategically and different angles can also be given a comprehensive focus. For example, each ASEAN member state has established an ASEAN National Secretariat which will be the national focal point for coordinating the implementation of ASEAN decisions at the national level. The ASEAN Charter also established the ASEAN Community Council for each community in the Southeast ASEAN region to coordinate the work of the different ministerial bodies under their respective jurisdiction. Lastly, the advantages of ASEAN Charter also strengthening new frameworks in decision-making. New frameworks are provided in more detail and compactness in decision-making process are structured in a more systematic and orderly manner. The provision of a framework assists in the forging of greater regional cooperation between member states in the Southeast Asia region and at the same time, it enables the sovereignty of each country to be respected. ASEAN Summit have been designated by the ASEAN Charter in exercising power which is providing policy guidance and in decision making. Moving on to the disadvantages of ASEAN Charter. The first disadvantage is superpower intervention. The principle of non-intervention would give a rise to a subaltern identity against weaker member states. Therefore, they depend on the big power to develop their respective economies. As a result, there was interference by the major powers in the matter of ASEAN. The next disadvantage is human rights are ignored. The principle of non-interference of other member states cannot voice an opinion on a domestic issue. This could affect the security of the region as well as affect the struggle in providing human rights to the Southeast ASEAN community. The COP d'état in Myanmar in 2021 was among the events that proved that ASEAN failed to prevent human rights violations due to the implementation of the principle of non-intervention. Hello, my name is Jerome. Now, I will be presenting about the recommendation and suggestion for the ASEAN Charter. Asian Charter play an important role for their organization in order to show their identity and their legitimacy. For the first suggestion and recommendation of Asian Charter is providing reward for its member. This means that the organization need to show their support to its member and to encourage the member in order to develop their nation well. They also need to ensure that they are having a healthy competition 
by giving the reward to the members agent can attract the members participation in order to develop the agent itself so what the effort of agent as increasing relationship to one and another the agent can give the reward to the most developed nation within the 10 members of agent so they can increase the enthusiasm to the nation to develop well and continue to pursue their goals for example giving support to the least developed countries in asia such as cambodia laos and myanmar and vietnam for the next recommendation of uh, for asian Charter is to review their charter annually. This is important because Asians are facing different problems each year. So they need to ensure that their charter are updated annually related to the current issue. It is related to Article 1, Purpose number 9 of Strengthen Democracy. Asians need to ensure that all of its members are complying with the charter as the one who against it will be penalized. For example, the issue of coup d'etat in Myanmar, where the, the, the country doesn't follow the guideline of, of Asian Charter. What they did was not protecting the human rights. They killed the woman who attended a demonstration. The woman is totally unarmed and doesn't have any means to harm the government, but she was killed anyway. Asian Charter started that, uh, stated that uh, non-intervention of internal issue, but in my opinion, the purpose of Asian Charter is to play their role as to preserve their purpose. Hello, my name is Lydia Nalisat and I will present the last part of this video which is the conclusion. As a conclusion, the ASEAN Charter allowed the eligibility for the state that have joined the organization to create a form of good administration of state. Means that every state that joined the ASEAN Charter has the right to administer their own state without any interference from the other nation. As we know, every ASEAN member has their own political system and ideology. For example, we can look at the differences between Malaysia and Cambodia. For our country, Malaysia, we had a democracy system, while the Cambodian are more likely to have a republican system. But these differences doesn't show that ASEAN member cannot play the same role in the ASEAN Charter. As we can see here, it is one of the benefits of the creation of the ASEAN Charter which allow the eligibility for the state to join the organization to create a good form of administration for their own state. Besides that, the existence of cooperation that will never end between the state. The cooperation that may emerge among ASEAN members and is bound by the ASEAN Charter will lead to a better discussion and in turn a brilliant solution. The ASEAN member leader will gather all together once a year to discuss any problem or global issue that has occurred for any state and find a good solution that can be applied to that problem. So, it is important for every nation to understand about the Charter in order to eliminate or prevent any misunderstanding which can make its objective hard to be achieved. To sum up, as we can see, in all organization that exist, all rules and regulation are the main factor that need to be understood and followed by all the members. Same goes to ASEAN. The guideline must be followed by all the Southeast ASEAN nation in order to achieve uniformity. Hence, the creation of the ASEAN Charter is the right step that needs to be taken. So that's all from us. Thank you.